Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you are new around here, welcome. And if you are a returning investy bestie, thank y'all so much for coming back. I do appreciate all of you guys being with me today. So before I get into the video, first I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for like the DMs and the emails. You guys were reaching out because you guys know uh, there was a death in my family and a lot of you guys were so supportive offering prayers. A lot of you were like, girl, I understand you are going to get to this because let me tell you guys, when a death occurs in your family and it involves like money or anything of the like, it can turn really ugly <laughs> really fast. And I just wanted to thank you guys so much for just, you know, keeping your girl lifted and encouraged. And I'm really, really happy to kind of be back and you know filming my videos and being able to help you all to you know make sure you have everything that you need in order because you just don't know what life may throw at you you don't know what could happen and you want to make sure that you know you are as prepared as you can be so thank you guys so much if you haven't checked out that video i know it is not like what's popular or you know sexy content is what i call it but it is very important and a lot of people don't realize how important it is until it's too late okay guys so make sure you go and check that out another thing that i wanted to thank you guys for was all of your support with the investing workbook so i had launched that workbook uh probably early last week i created something initially for my daughter to use so you guys know i have a soon to be 16 year old who invests in the stock market she has a credit card she has a checking account she has a banking account all of the things and i wanted to create something for her that was simple that was easy to use but gave her the information that she needed so that girlfriend can you know build up her portfolio so when she's 18 she would literally be ready for the real world when it comes to her finances and i thought you know what what if other people needed more help with how learning how to approach the stock market and organizing their investments learning how to educate themselves and research stocks and different companies and i'm so so happy that a lot of you uh, took advantage of that for supporting me number one because i do appreciate all the support but really investing in that workbook to invest in yourself i really really I'm so thankful, seriously, guys, for all of the love, all of your support and purchasing the workbook. If you do want to get your personal copy, it is up on a website, 34 interior pages, 36 pages in total. I created everything myself, really trying to tailor it to beginner investors. And it's super easy and super beginner investing friendly. So I just wanted to thank you guys so much because, you know, I really do appreciate all of y'all, really appreciate all of my investy besties. So one more thing. I almost forgot one more thing. We start our polls tomorrow for March. I know you're thinking, Shalise, what? Yes, this coming week is the last full week in February. I know, scary, right? How fast time goes by. This is exactly why we need to make sure we do what we can do now in the present to prepare for our future selves. Now, again, we can enjoy life now, but I always say, if you plan on being alive, in the future that's 20 years 30 years if you plan on seeing your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren and you already know that inflation is terrible right now that the cost of goods and services is going up like all of your bills check your expenses everything has gone up right well you want to make sure that you protect yourself on the back end i know you may say like yeah i'm going to open up an investing account but has it been three months already? Has even a month gone by and you feel like you haven't done that yet? Well, this is the best time to actually start investing. There's no better time than the present. And let me tell you, it is not too late. So we do start our polls tomorrow for March's investing challenge. I already have the challenge available up on the site if you care to join us. But yes, I take you through three days. I know it's a tedious process, but we go through three days of polls because I want y'all to be what? Knowledgeable what? Say it with me. I know you're saying it knowledgeable investors okay i want you to believe in what you are investing your hard earned money into so those polls are starting tomorrow we're going to start with the sector then a the stock then an the etf okay so three days three days of polls are coming your way and i hope you guys are enjoying going through this process okay guys this is what makes you millionaires it helps you to achieve your goals by knowing exactly what you are invested in okay so those are all of my church announcements so let's get into the video so you saw the thumbnail 401k now i did do a detailed roth ira video why i love the roth i gave you some background on the roth why you should open up a roth some of the pros and cons of a roth i'll have that video right here and i'll have it linked in the description box below and i have playlists guys so if you are new to the channel if you are an investy bestie and you're looking for a topic Go through my playlist. I have a beginner investing 101. I have a real estate. I have a crypto and NFT. I have our fire journey. I have fun investing content. 
all of those playlists. You can feel free to go through, binge watch some of the videos if you like. Really, really good stuff. I think I have like almost 250 videos I uploaded to this channel. So lots and lots of content. But yes, let's talk about the 401k. I'm going to give you some great pros about the 401k because I really do love it. And I'm going to take you inside of our 401k quarterly statement. So this is really important for you guys to know how to read it and understand the information that is on these statements. Yes, you do get quarterly statements if you have a 401k. And just for GP guys, this will apply to like your 403Bs and your 457s. I'm just going to be saying 401ks, but a lot of the same things kind of cross into those separate those separate types of accounts as well. These are just employer sponsored retirement accounts, but I'm just saying 401k in this video. All right, guys, so let's talk about first, what is a 401k? A 401k is a retirement savings account or investing account that is sponsored through an employer. So that means you won't really get access to a 401k or 457 or 403b unless it's through an employer. So you have to actually be connected that way. The great thing about it is that it allows workers or employees to save for their retirement or invest for their retirement through their paychecks. And the great thing about it is that you are not taxed on those contributions so that means if you for example make a thousand dollars per month and you decide to put 100 dollars into your 401k the government is only going to tax you on 900 dollars which is great you're saving for your future with the hundred dollars and you're being taxed less currently by being taxed with 900 dollars and if you didn't know, 401ks kind of came on the scene in the 1980s as a supplement to pensions. So pensions were starting to be phased out. Now, you guys remember back in the day, pensions were a big, big thing. A lot of people worked at the same company for 30, 40 years. The company would give them a pension as like a thank you for, you know, spending your entire working life with them. And the pension would have been able to carry you through your retirement years until you know you're passing. And in the 80s, a lot of those pensions, the companies were phasing those pensions out. And they do have some pensions nowadays that are kind of going around. Let me know down below if you have access to a pension, but I know most people don't nowadays. And so the 401k was created and the 401k is just basically named after the tax code that talks about it in detail. And I'll have a link to that down in the description box below, but it's on the IRS site and it's like eons and eons of pages but that's pretty much what the 401k um and that 401k stands for it's just the tax code that talks about it in super duper duper detail and so the 401k was like created as an alternative to a pension the second reason that i do love the 401k is because of a match so if you get a match through your employer if you don't know if you get a match make sure you go down to your hr person send them an email give them a call and just ask if they should be able to answer your question number one and then direct you to some information that will show you you know like the breakdown because some of this are they have vesting schedules attached to it so my husband for example is 100 vested so every time he gets a match is 100 his i know some companies have like a year to year vesting schedule that you have to actually stay with them to be able to get all of that match but again go through your statements and that's why i'm going to pull up our quarterly statements and show you how to find this information okay guys my husband gets a five percent match so I always say try to invest up to the match if you can but if you can't don't worry about it free money is free money okay so if you get a good match at your company and i consider good matches like 10 percent and higher but i five percent is still good too but i've met with some people that get like 15 percent match 12 percent match those are excellent matches and you really should if you can take full advantage of those and this is why you should budget because budgeting isn't meant to be restrictive it just shows you where your money is going so you can your budget can tell you okay go ahead and increase your 401k contributions but you have this much for groceries this much for dining out this much for you know going to the nail salon vacation but yes increase those matches if you can one of the things that i love to do for my husband and i is every birthday we have increase your 401k or your Roth IRA or whatever it is you're investing in by 1% as a gift, as a birthday gift to your future self. So every time a birthday rolls around, increase your contributions, okay? It can be, it don't have to be just 401k, any of your accounts just to help you to save towards your future. And this goes into the third point that I wanted to talk about is that one thing that I love about 401ks is that it's automatic, okay? So when you set this up through your employer, it comes automatically 
out your paycheck. You don't have to worry about, oh my goodness, I have to transfer this from my checking account over into Fidelity because that's where our 401k is, over into Fidelity. Then I got to remember to actually invest the money. Mm -mm. When you have a 401k, this is all set up automatically for you. And let me tell you, you won't even miss it. It's so interesting how you get used to it. And after some time, you're like, okay, I want to actually increase what I'm putting over there because I don't miss it. And that's one thing I really, really love. If you get a raise, if you get a bonus, really try to increase your contributions that way as well because you really will not miss it. This works like a lot with when you automate your savings to your emergency fund or just your general savings, your stinking funds. Be honest with me, guys. Do you really even miss it? And as a result, you are saving and investing passively for your future self. Okay, guys? The fourth reason why I love the 401k so much is because the contributions are higher. So for 2021, you can put $20,500 into your 401k. Okay, so you can max your 401k out. There's a lot of trackers that are out there if you want to go ahead and try to max out your 401k. If you can max it out, kudos to you. But remember guys, start slow because we didn't max out our 401k when we first started. Okay, I'm not even going to fake the funk. We tried to do a hundred to two hundred dollars a paycheck because we were trying to pay off debt. And yes, you can invest and yes, you can pay off debt at the same time. Do not let anyone tell you that you have to wait until you are debt free to invest. Remember, time is your best friend when it comes to investing time. You cannot get time back. So start with whatever you can today, five, 10. And by the way, you can put $5 in your 401k. Yes, you can put $10 in your 401k, $50, $100. You don't have to start with these big numbers into your 401k. Just work your way up to maxing it out. So yes, the contribution limits are higher, which I really, 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 really do love. I like the Roth IRA, which I love as well. But the contribution limits for that is $6,000 or $7,000 if you're age 50 and above. Okay, guys? But the final reason that I love the 401k, and this may go against the grain a little bit, is that you can access it through a loan. Okay, so not cash it out but take a loan from it. Now, I don't suggest you borrow from your 401k, but let me just say life happens. You don't know what is up the road. It could be an illness. It could be a death. It could be a catastrophe with your home or in your family. And I'm telling you guys, you may not want to, but if you can borrow against it to get through medical bills or to put a new roof on because something happened, that is option is there for you and unlike cashing it out it will not trigger a tax bill okay when you borrow against it you are just paying yourself back in payments yeah you will have an interest rate but all that money goes back to you that's the perk of borrowing from your 401k versus cashing it out and like i said i don't suggest you do it but again we don't know what life has in store for us and it's an option there if you need it funds in a huge emergency, not even like a regular emergency, a huge emergency, that option is there for you. Okay. It's just, that's just reality. That's just real life. And I want to make sure that I present all sides of this equation because I know we can say now like, oh, I would never do that. But let me just tell you, life has a quick way of humbling us and humbling our outlooks if we feel like you know we'll never do that you never know what you may do in a desperate situation so yes that option is there for you to borrow against it and you're just paying yourself back through those payments so those are just some of the reasons why i like the 401k like i said there's a whole bunch of reasons a bonus tip is that your funds in your 401k are mostly protected from like creditors so let's say you overdraft a card or a creditor is trying to get a judgment against you or things like that usually your 401k is protected from them but it again it depends on your state so check through your state to get more of that information. But let me know down below some of the reasons why you guys, if you have a 401k or a 403b or a 457, what are some of the reasons why you love it so much? So I'm gonna turn this camera around. I'm gonna take you inside of our quarterly statement. And we're going to go through some of the numbers. I'm hoping that it will be helpful for a lot of you as well, okay? So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you over in the screen. All right, guys, so we are here in our quarterly statement from Fidelity. This is my husband's 401k. And I wanted to just go through this because a lot of you uh, told me that you needed some help with this. And if you need one-on-one -on -one help with this, like if you want to share your screen with your investy bestie, again, 
everything is always confidential. You can block certain things out, but it'll help me to see what you're seeing. And a lot of you who book with me love this idea because it helps you to really get your answer, your questions answered. And we really focus our time on walking through this step by step for you. So you're seeing this for us. But if you want more private help with this, check out my website, mt1finance.com, where you can book a session with me. I have 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and an hour as well. So this statement is from October 1st of 2021 to December 31st of 2021. So if you have a 401k, you do get quarterly statements. Ours is through Fidelity. You may have Vanguard, Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade, whatever it is, check with your HR department. They'll be able to point you in the right direction, but it's always good to look over this, okay? So this is our account summary. So the balance right here, uh, at the beginning of October 1st was $204,509. Let me move my head, my head down. And 32 cents. That was the beginning balance at uh, the beginning of October. We put $2,811.36 in during that time. The employer contributed $2,249.10. This is like, guys, seriously amazing. I mean, look at how much almost dollar for dollar the employer put in because my husband invested in his future. Like, amazing. Moving down to fees, yes, keep in mind, you will have to pay fees when you get into any type of fund. It could be mutual fund. It could be index funds. It could be ETS, which are exchange traded funds. There is always a fee to get into it. So, you know, VTI, the Vanguard Total Stock Market Fund, there's a fee to get into that. So you want to make sure you're looking at the fees, your expense ratios, because it'll tell you how much it costs to get into these funds. So we had to pay $138.22 for fees. And then the change in market value, that means how much our account grew during this period, was $11,957.12. This is where you're going to see compound interest really work because as the quarters continue to move on, this is just only going to grow and compound from the money that's already in there and from the contributions we make out of each paycheck. So the ending balance when it came to December 31st of 2021 was $221,388.68. So you see why we go through this, guys? Because if you minus $204,509.32 from this number, we didn't put that much in. That's just the market. We only put in, remember, $2,811 of this. Okay? The market did the rest. And the employer did the rest of the work. This is why I always talk about investing because it really is the way to grow your money the fastest. I'm telling you guys, there's nothing like compound interest and rate of return when it comes to your money. Nothing in the world like it, okay? So that was our ending balance there at the end of December. Coming down, we have additional information. So vested balance. Now, this can be tricky depending on your company. So some companies have vesting schedules. So you have to be there a certain amount of time to actually get 100% access to your money. My husband's company give him 100% access right from the jumpstart. So again, guys, talk to your HR person. They'll be able to give you the information you need to know. Are there vesting schedules? Because you may have to do a vesting schedule. Some people get 100% access to the money right off the bat. Okay, guys? But as you can see, the vested balance is $221,388.68, just like it is up there. That means all that money belongs to my husband. And then dividends and interest. So yes, you can get dividends in your 401k account. So I know we always talk about Roth IRAs. We talk about like your taxable brokerage accounts like Robinhood and One Finance, Weeble. But you can also get dividends inside of your 401k. We also get dividends inside of our HSA, which is a health savings account. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to kind of expose you to that. Yes, you can get paid money for just owning a company or owning a fund. So on December 31st of 2021, we received a dividend payout of $3,816.64, which we invested right back into the position. Okay, guys, free money, free money. <laughs> Moving down to our personal rate of return, this is always great because it will allow you to see how your 401k did for that particular quarter, or 403b, 457, things of the like. Um, and so it gave us 5.8% return during that quarter, which is, I mean, any return in my eyes is great. But again, this is more than a high yield savings account. This is, this is what 
your money made. This is what our money made in three months, a 5.8% return on top of the dividends we've received in this account. Okay, so your rate of return, your personal rate of return. And I love that it explains it down here. Like I said, guys, this is with Fidelity, but Vanguard, Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade, all of the big boys, all the big brokers will have the same type of setup that Fidelity does. It really will show you the information that you need to see. Coming down to your asset allocation for this particular period, you can see that most of our 401k is in uh, stocks, and that's $199,249.81 of it is in stocks, and 10% is in bonds. Now, as we get closer to our early retirement number or just traditional retirement, we will reallocate this so that most of this can be more towards bonds because it's safer and more conservative than in stocks. But right now, we're still young. We still Five years is still a lot of time. We want to keep this allocation because we want, you know, to have our money grow the fastest and the safest that it can. So, yes, that's just where that is. Coming down here is the market value of our account. So from this period, again, we're just doing this one quarter. We have a blended investment. Basically, just this means it has stocks and bonds. OK, it's just a mix. So we are in a target date fund, 2045. Some of you may have 2050, 2060, 2070. But again, guys, keep investing. So our shares, so this is the breakdown of the shares that we have. So a lot of you don't really realize that when you invest in a 401k, it is through shares. So let's see this. At the end of September or the beginning of October, we had $8,654.64 shares. And this fund in our 401k at the end of December, we had 9,010 shares, let's just say, <laughs> 9,010 shares in that fund. So it grew. Our share size, our position grew. So that means at the end of 2022, when we receive a dividend, it'll be higher because it's more shares that we're being paid out on. The average price of this fund at the beginning of October, I know it says September 30th, but the beginning of October, $23.64. At the end of December, it went up $24.57. So our total market value at the beginning of October was $205,000. I'm just rounding up. At the end of December, $221,388. So again, breaking this stuff down, really looking at the metrics. This is some important stuff. And I love looking at this type of stuff. I absolutely love seeing the details of how our money is growing. And let me see, I think this may be the end of it. Some jargon. Okay, we got, I think, one more thing. So this is just our contributions or how we have our contributions allocated. Everything is going to this particular fund. Some people online day trade their retirement. Some people invest their retirement like uh, with shorting it or doing options. We do not do any of that. And if you are a beginner investor, please do not do any of that with your retirement. We invest our retirement we invest our contributions into this fund and leave it alone. Just leave it alone, okay? There is a fund manager associated with our 401k through the employer, and he just handles it. He's been doing a great job, and we just leave it like that. So 100% of our contributions is going into this fund, and you can see our contribution summary. Let me move my face over. Okay, so we have our contributions period to date. That means from... Uh, December 1st, it says December. That means from October 1st to December 31st was $2,811.36. The match that we received was $2,249. You see our inception to date right here, our vested percent, which I talked about 100%, our total account balance, 130000 that we put in, $130,558.35. And the safe harbor match, which is the company match, 90600 $90,260.33 and the profit sharing that we received, just some extra uh, income from investing in this fund, $570. And as you can see, vested just means how much of it we have access to, all of it, because my husband gets 100% vested uh, access to his funds. So I, I'm thinking that was it. Oh, we have some more down here. Okay, let's keep going, guys. Our fund activity again during this period. As you can see right here, and some of this repeats the same information over and over again, but I love it. I mean, I love it. I can literally see everything in one snapshot right here. So beginning balance at the beginning of October, I mentioned it, 204509 Ending, so that was the total there. Contributions we put in, employer contributions, administrative fees, advisory fee. Yes, so that was that total up at the top that I showed you, that 132 
$132, right? $138, $138 right there. That's what that is. That's just broken down in detail. Let me come back down. And then change in market value, $11,957.12. So that's pretty much everything. You see the dividends again stated down here. And then our investments and allocations, 90% stocks, 10% bonds. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, and that's our 401k quarterly statement. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that walkthrough. Again, if you need more help with this, make sure you book a session with me. I have 15, 30, and one hour availability options available for you. And it's always nice to see how our money is doing. Just diving in to the details. And again, this is how we're able to grow our money and all of our different accounts to get to million dollar net worth. Or at this point, I think it's 1.1 plus million so again guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave me a comment down below thank you guys so much for watching if you have a question let me know down below in the description box let me know down below and i'll be more than happy to get back to you don't forget to like the video and until next time i'll see y'all in the next one okay have a good one bye bye